It's that time of the week again. Two-minute drill with head coach Frank Monica. And this week, our topic is home field advantages in officiating in the NFL. Start that clock. Guys, uh, one thing that the, there's a coverage they call cover two. And what that means is that a cornerback on a receiver, it means too deep, first of all. But the cornerbacks in cover two are the two guys on the outside. They actually do a thing they call the shucking technique that diverts the, the receiver just for a second. He doesn't hold him. He's just supposed to shuck him and just push him out of the stem, what they call the so-called stem. Well, I think that what's happened in the NFL and even on man-to-man -man coverage, a lot of these, these, these uh, calls are really, really being touchy-touchy, feely calls, and you never know when they're going to be called. Because sometimes you see, and a lot of times, it, most of the times it is interference, but a lot of times you see disruption, and it's not something. I saw one the other day where the tight end was called against the Saints, and that was called for offensive pass interference. When the guy was standing on his spot, and all he did, he banged off the guy, and that was called for offensive interference. But so what I'm saying is that it's really discretionary about when the call could be made or not. Almost every play, there's some kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat between receivers and DBs, and their hands are on them. So I'd like to have a clarification by the officials in the NFL that exactly what, what are you looking for? What's your parameters and what, what constitutes holding and, um, in, in, in terms of the, uh, a pass being thrown? And I, we, all, we all know that a lot of times the offensive linemen are going to get their call. And that's another point right there because offensive linemen, I can understand if it's very obvious, but there's a, there's a guy that's called an umpire, and all he does is he has to watch those five guys. So he can watch that, and if you watch him closely, you can call that almost every play. But the pick and choose and when they take place, and sometimes, especially in the red zone, it seems to be something that's, that's more common. So I just like to have a clarification, especially on the road. It looks like the road team is really, really penalized a lot more than the home team. And it's certainly been the case for the Saints when it comes to that. Game before, they had, they had two penalties that get the, in the Superdome. This week, they get eight and nine. So, and, and, and they swap, which depends on the home. Thanks, Coach. That'll do it for us. Remember to watch us every Wednesday night on Varsity Sports Now at 7 o'clock. See you there.